It's the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. Welcome. I'm Jeff Grubb from GameSpeed.com. This time I'm talking about the Xbox Series X again. Big surprise. Uh, it's kind of what I've been covering a ton lately. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna keep at it. There's a lot to talk about. Still can't talk about everything. I think that's okay though. There's still uh, we can get really into the details about how some of this stuff works today. We're gonna do, do that with the auto HDR functionality. So the Xbox Series X has a number of features that are related to how it displays an image. Uh, Xbox has always been good about this. Even the, the original Xbox displayed at 720p, something that was pretty interesting, um, or it could display at 720p at least. Uh, and like that, this Xbox Series X can display at 4K, 120 hertz, could even do 8K because it supports HDMI 2.1. But HDMI 2.1, while it is still it, like, early days for that, uh, almost, it's a, it, it's in almost no consumer electronic products. It's going to be in a lot of stuff real soon. It's gonna be in the PlayStation 5. It's going to be in pretty much every upcoming graphics card going forward. Um, so that's not really something that's gonna set the Xbox Series X apart. What will set the Series X apart, however, is its auto HDR. And this is, this is an effect that enables the Xbox to apply basically a processing layer on top of games to give them HDR, even if they never originally had HDR in the first place. It's a, it's a really cool idea and it works with machine learning. It uses a lot of um, of Microsoft AI to, it, to basically add HDR where there was never any and, and, and doing so in a way that doesn't really affect the, the way the game performs. So the games are just as performative, uh, performant as ever. And then the Xbox is doing uh, this processing layer on top of the game. So I've tested auto HDR in a number of backward compatible games with this preview hardware. And as long as your TV supports HDR and you uh, you don't really have to do anything else, it just works. Uh, there's an option to turn it off in the Xbox display settings. So if it's bothering you for some reason, if it's uh, messing up a game that you remember looking one way and now it looks another, you can go in there and turn it off. Uh, if your TV is causing issues with it, you can go in there and turn it off. But otherwise, if your TV supports it, it should turn on automatically and then games will just use it automatically. And every game I've tested maxed out at 1,000 nits. And nits is the, the, the measurement that people use for HDR. Uh, I worked with uh, Adam Fairclough. Fairclough? Fairclough? I didn't ask how to say his name. I worked with Evil Boris on Twitter. You should follow him, Evil Boris on Twitter. He does all the HDR uh, testing for like HD TV tests. He's on Reset Era. You could find him. Uh, follow him on Twitter, get his content, because he knows more about this than I do. I worked with him though. I sent him my HDR footage and let him take a look at it. And he sent me back some heat maps and some, some data about how, how it was all working. And each game that I sent him over was hitting a maximum of 1000 nits, which is pretty good. That, so 1000 nits is uh, basically a measurement of, of luminosity within a certain air, air, like square area. Um, and it tells you how good the HDR is. And 1000 is, is the, the, the level that you wanna get to. That is if you, the highest highlights should get to 1000 nits and consistently across the board, these games were doing that. That's impressive. The Xbox Series X really makes these games pop too. So we don't know exactly how this works. I have some guesses, but we do know that this is a machine learning technique. This is an AI developed algorithm that understands how, how images should look when they are HDR. And so it studies that for a really long time compared to, to non HDR content. Then when you give it non HDR content, it, it understands what it should be doing to various uh, objects that it sees, various uh, just cues on the screen that it sees to either leave it alone or give it an HDR coding, basically. That, that's my guess of how this works. Okay, let's look at some of the footage, some of the heat maps. A lot of the time, things are just gonna work how you expect. Uh, the sun is almost always gonna be like a very bright 1000 nit source, uh, but so are like the neon signs in Yakuza 0. If you go in Yakuza 0 and you do the opening video or whatever, uh, there's a ton of neon signs as you're walking through that area and Yes, it, it, it pops right off the screen. All like there's a whole range of HDR uh, color and, and lighting in through here. But, but, but I think it's a, a good time to mention that if you want to get the most out of HDR, you should calibrate on the system level. You should go through the Xbox system settings to do this. Now, these games that we're applying this stuff to never under never expected HDR to be a problem. Never expected to deal with HDR in any way. So there's no HDR in the settings of the games. And more than that, the brightness setting that you will find in most of these games is not taking HDR into the equation when it's making its adjustments. So you should just leave the game brightness at default. And if you need to make any changes, do so at the system level. Now, Microsoft's Xbox software runs you through a calibration test. So if you calibrate using that, almost every game should just kind of work 
with your TV. If you change TVs, you'll probably want to do this again. But if you're using the same TV over and over, which most people probably are, that calibration test is going to handle this really well, at least so far in my experience. So light sources are an obvious good target for AI HDR. That just makes a lot of sense. Uh, but it also is doing a really good job of targeting like visual effects and lighting effects I've found. This is noticeable in something like dead cells where attacks and defensive maneuvers are supposed to explode off the screen. They're really supposed to pop. You're supposed to notice them because the world is supposed to be drab and dull. Um, and HDR just really amplifies that to a huge degree. Uh, it moves like your parry. Now, they, those crackle off the screen more than ever uh, because the auto HDR is bringing that up to 1,000 nits and it's surrounded by uh, traditional SDR color range and, and contrast range. I also think uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 is a really good example. Uh, the sun, of course, is, is the big source of light in the outdoor world, and it's lighting up the, the entire sky. The whole sky is lit up in a range uh, of, of, you know, from 200 nits to 600, 800 nits. It's really bright. It's not as bright as the sun, though. But if you drive the car, you could see in the side view mirrors, it's reflecting the sun, and that does get to 1,000 nits because it's a direct reflection of the sun. That's really cool. But, but the algorithm isn't always perfect. Uh, it's never, I don't think it's ever bad. And it's never going to be super noticeably bad, I don't think. If you're looking for stuff like like we were uh, when I was talking to Evil Boris, you'll you'll probably notice something uh, if you know what to look for. He he knows what to look for. He spotted this. Like um, in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which I think looks great on Xbox Series X. I really love the look. I think the auto HDR is incredible. It adds a ton of luminosity to, to everything, but especially to white objects. And sometimes those white objects uh, probably weren't supposed to be like glowing like a character's eyes. And I think if you look close, you could see here Kazooie's eyes are shining super bright. Uh, and, and you... Can't really tell here. Uh, I think if you, I'll bring up the HDR version. Um, but if you look at the heat map, you can see that there's a little bit of red right where her eyes are. And she has like these crazy torch eyes, which is how Eva Boris explained it to me. Right, like, um, uh, like what's his name from Ghostbusters 2? The, the flashlight eyes. Sorry if I'm bringing up bad memories of your childhood right now, because it's I, I think it's a good movie. But if everything you're doing is bad, I want you to know this. But overall, I just I am really impressed with the auto HDR. It, it works really well. Uh, Microsoft, I, this is the kind of thing that I think uh, makes uh, upgrading to the next generation make sense this sort of thing that you wouldn't you could just I don't know if there, maybe there's probably a way to do this to the, to the old consoles, but you know you're going to have a new console coming out soon. You know that there's reasons to invest in this technology because people are going to be showing up for it. And the people that are showing up for it are the kinds of people that are taking advantage of HDR screens. Um, and, they're all, and you know you're going to have this huge backlog of games that are going to be supported on the Xbox Series X. So what can you do to spruce them up? Well, you've, you've done a lot of work to make sure that they work uh, well with, you know, with, with, with the extra power of the Xbox. So the Xbox One X, those games ran faster and higher resolution. You're going to get even more of that. I talked about that in my earlier videos. You're going to get more resolution, more frame rate out of these games on the Xbox Series X. But now you're also getting this awesome new feature that makes the games look better than ever. I'm, I'm Every time I sit down to play some of these games, I'm like, this looks so good. I really do just kind of want to play it again. I think Banjo-Kazooie stands out as a game that almost looks good enough if it were to come out today. And that was an Xbox 360 game. So, yeah. Um, all right, I think that's going to do it. So thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought. I, I'm trying new stuff. This is a, a new camera. It's actually an Android phone. It just Filmic Pro, an app just released that has clean HDMI out. It looks okay. I need to adjust it. Let me know what you think uh, of the video spe specifically, but also let me know what you think of auto HDR. Um, I really want to hear if you have ideas about games I should test with that feature. Uh, I got more stuff coming. I'm going to be looking at Titanfall 2 specifically. I just, I'm excited to play that again. So um, any excuse, uh, but I, won't, I don't know if I'll do a full video on it, but I'll probably just have a little bit of it in a bigger video. We'll see. Okay. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care of yourself. Have a good one and goodbye.